Good morning, I'm Vergis. First up, it rained heavily across the city in the early hours of today. The rain was accompanied by thunder. Several areas in Koramangla, Adagodi, Shantinagar, Malayetswaram, Jayanagar, Baneswadi, Nandani layout bore the brunt of the heavy rains. The rain began at around 2 in the morning. Several low-lying areas in the city have been inundated due to the rains. In Mahalakshmi layout's tent road, Several houses were flooded as rainwater entered the residents' homes. The, flood, the flooding happened because the drains in the area were blocked. In several areas, several vehicles that were parked on the roadside were inundated and were flooded with rainwater. Several residents, in fact, had sleepless nights in Mahalakshmi Layout's tent road area. They had, in fact, run and get their belongings to safe places so that the water does not destroy them. Some of the residents complained that as the water entered, it was their plywood furniture that were first giving away as it started to bloat up. The residents of the area, in fact, had to ensure that they had been kept awake and also were worried whether there could be any power outages. The reason for the flooding, they say, is because of clogged plastic in the drains and in the arterial drains. And this led to a complete lack of flow of rainwater into the stormwater drain. But what also compounded the matter was the stormwater drain, which was already fed with rainwater coming from other parts of the city, overflowed, and this resulted in inundation of areas. Several low-lying areas have reportedly been flooded and rainwater has entered homes. The residents are quite angry with the authorities because they say that they have been informing the BBMP with regards to cleaning up these drains before the monsoon season and it seems that the authorities have not taken any cue from them. Some of the residents say that a lot of clothing was in fact damaged and some had to lift their furniture to higher floors. The residents of the tent road area was kept awake the entire night. They had to peel the water out of their homes and clean the premises. Some of the residents were caught unaware and it was like a flash flood for them and as water came seeping into their homes. In other places, vehicles found it very difficult to wade through the knee-deep water. Cars as well as bikes that were parked in some areas saw water enter into their carburetor areas. Several low-lying areas have in fact reported flash floods because of the lack of flow of water in their area. The reason being the drains have been blocked with plastic and it has not been cleared. In fact, arterial drains next to roads have also been completely clogged because of garbage inside them. This has been a very bad mix for certain residents. They had water seeping into their homes and this gave a situation where they had to, in fact, be awake the whole night. Residents were seeing wading through knee-deep water and pushing their vehicles away from the flooded area. Many of them complained of huge property damages, especially to their furniture. The areas that witnessed the kind of flooding are in some areas of Koramangla, Adugodi, Shantinagar, Maleswaram, Jayanagar, Baneswadi, Nandani layout. These were the areas that bore the brunt of the heavy thunder showers. The rain began at around 2 in the morning and most of the residents were kept awake because there were flash floods in certain areas due to clogged drains. Residents of Tent Road in fact had a horrid experience because of drain water mixing with the rain water entering their homes. The huge drain in the area has been completely clogged with plastic garbage and this did not and there is no free flow of water in that particular drain. 
This resulted in a complete overflow of water into the residential quarters and several of them had to in fact have sleepless nights. Some of them had to in fact spend the night on the terrace of their homes. They kept telling, asking BBMP for help but there, but there was no help coming from the authorities because the authorities found it difficult to go to areas that had been flooded very badly. The Indian Department of Meteorology has some good news for you. Say goodbye to the blustering summer heat and open out those umbrellas to welcome the monsoon for this year. After months of sweltering heat, the monsoons are finally here to provide much needed relief. The Met Department has stated that the monsoon is on schedule and is expected to hit Kerala in the next 48 hours. The monsoon this year has delayed its date with the Indian subcontinent. So, apart from the relief it will bring, its late arrival also brings some bad news. The Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology forecasts a dampening in the advance of the monsoon till 18 June. This means that the monsoon would reach central India in a much fainter form on the 20th of this month. Another factor that will affect the monsoon this year is the El Nino effect, which scientists predict will reduce this year's showers and affect our nation's GDP by as much as 1.75%. Even though it is delayed and dampened, the onset of the monsoon is still a welcome sign for those who have sweated it out the past couple of months. So, bring out your raincoats and umbrellas and welcome the monsoon. A new Snand report. All that this girl did was to come to the city to check her PUC results. But little did she know that something very disastrous would happen on her way. This lady who is being treated is Suma. She hails from Mylur in Bidar. When she came to check her PUC results, she claims that an auto driver by name Arif kidnapped her. Later, it is alleged that he forcibly made her wear a burqa and took her to the court to get a registered marriage done but she was deemed to be a minor. Somehow she managed to escape from the clutches of this auto driver and reached home. But due to the fear of being reprimanded by her family members, she tried committing suicide. Suma's parents now want justice for their daughter, with the police attached to the Gandhi Ganj police station in Bidar state that the two were in love for a long time. Her father Kari Basapa had lodged a missing complaint, but when she was found, the complaint had been closed. But Arif's relatives, it is said, troubled their parents a lot. All in all, the case has turned out to be an enigma. Whether she was kidnapped or not is not known. But it has come to light that she would be sent to Mumbai after marriage. Police are yet to work on this alleged human trafficking and render justice. Shivanand Hiremat for News 9, Bidar. This person in Hassan married a woman with a lot of hope, but she did the unthinkable. Take a look. This murder had shocked everyone in Hassan. It was carried out in an extremely professional manner. People even cast doubts whether it was a murder or an accident. An Ertiga was found along with a charred body. But kudos to the police, a quick and efficient investigation belled the cat. It was indeed a murder and not an accident. The murdered was Chandre Gauda. He was murdered by his wife Shruti and a Parama. People were literally shocked by this incident. But now the Parama Girish has revealed the exact motive behind the murder. Chandre Gauda's wife had befriended one of Girish's friends. Can you guess the reason? Well, because Chandre Gauda was not satisfying her sexually. She used to reason out that Chandre Gauda was completely busy in his potato business and would sideline her. She'd even managed to convince Girish about her so-called helplessness. Girish confesses that he was completely convinced. Interestingly, it is said that Chandra Gowda had bitten Shruti when she behaved in a hostile manner while having sex. Enraged by this, Shruti had taken a vow to get him killed. All this has been confessed by Girish. Girish Ita, ee gagale vivarisidante aa kratyada kuritu taanu maadiruva ee kole kuritante 
ತಾನೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾಗಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಆ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಆತ ಆ ಹೆಣವನ್ನು ಸತ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಚಂದ್ರೇಗೌಡ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಬಳದರೆ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಗಾಟ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದಹನ ಮಾಡಿರುವುದಾಗಿ ಕಾರನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಸುಟ್ಟಿರುವುದಾಗಿ ಒಪ್ಪಿಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಏಟೀನ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಪಿಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಂದ್ರೇಗೌಡ ಫೆಲ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅ ರೋಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಡೆತ್ later she transported the dead body in a brand new vertiga to the forest near arsikeri and lit it this was all to create an impression that he died in an accident but even the best of criminals leaves behind a trail or clue the police based on the number plate which was not completely burnt cracked the murder immediately after the incident girish ran away to places like delhi mumbai uttar pradesh agra and hyderabad when the cops arrested him they recovered gold ornaments and cash worth 10 lakh rupees what saddens anyone is how shruti who hailed from a financially weak family was given a life by chandra gowda not just this even girish was given employment by chandra gowda himself and helped him with money during need but the loss he was betrayed dashrat sabur for news 9 hasan